Hello my friends, welcome to the 30 days rank push challenge where I'm uploading a new ML guide for 30 days straight. We're on day 5 today, here you have the full upload plan for the challenge. Today we will talk about all boots in the game and also because it was quite fitting, all jungle and roam effects. First, the 5 shoutouts of today. Thank you to anyone who answered my question. It really helped me a lot to get an overview of your preference video pace. The shoutouts goes to Lina Depts, Damien Kabantok, Reanimations, Tara Negi and Black Sum. If you want to have the chance to get a shoutout in the next video, just write something nice in the comments. Last quick note, don't forget about the giveaway I'm running for the challenge. The rules and all information you need you will find in the description box below. Now let's get into the meaty part. First, the most obvious. All boots give plus 40 movement speed. Except for the rapid boots. They give a whopping plus 80 movement speed. So here becomes supersonic. Gotta go fast. Well, except when the effect kicks in. Once you deal or take any kind of damage, your movement speed is reduced by 40 for 5 seconds. So these boots are made for fast rotation. I really like to use them on certain fighters. For example Badang or Jawhead. Especially on Jawhead when I use them in the jungle. You're just rotating so much faster with them, which really helps to be present on all lanes without much effort. Next, we have Warrior Boots. It gives you plus 22 physical defense and has a passive effect. It's called Valor. Your physical defense is increased by 5 for every basic attack you receive. This is capped at 25 and lasts for 25 seconds. So from this item alone you can get up to 47 physical defense, which is not bad for boots alone. This item is usually made for tank or fighters. Build it when your enemy have more physical than magical damage. If it's the other way around, you should build tough boots. You get plus 22 magic defense from it. The effect is a little different though. It's called fortitude and reduces the time of CC effects by 30%. So you can also use this item when playing against a team with a lot of CC skills. Next we have Demon Shoes. You get plus 6 mana regen from them. Its effect is called… how to pronounce that? Mysticism. Mysticism. When you eliminate an enemy hero or get an assist, you regenerate 10% of your mana and 4% for eliminating a minion. So for those heroes who use a lot of mana, these are the boots for you. Last we have the 3 boots who doesn't have any passive effect. Magic Shoes reduce the cooldown by 10% so it's for all heroes who benefit from the cooldown reduction. Arcane boots give you plus 12 magic penetration, so it's for heroes who deal magic damage. And swift boots gives you plus 15 attack speed, which is mostly used by heroes who rely on basic attacks. Next, let's also talk about the equipment blessings. First, we talk about the three retribution. Retribution. It's not so difficult. Flame, ice, and bloody retribution. All three have the same effect that the retribution damage dealt to creeps and minions is increased to 150% once they are active. By the way, in order to use them, you need to have a total of 5 kills on jungle creeps, hero kills or assists. Minions doesn't count, so please don't touch them as jungler. Most of you know this, but I still wanted to mention it for the new players. Let's start with the effect of flame retribution. When used against a hero, you deal 100 true damage on a hero and absorb 35 to 70 physical attack and magic power from the target for 3 seconds. The amount scales with the hero level. Although I've maybe found a bug here. As you can see I'm on the max level, both on my retribution and heroes level. And I absorb only 60 physical attack and magic power. Am I missing something obvious or is this a bug? Next we have ice retribution. Again you deal 100 true damage and absorb 41 to 90 movement speed off the target for 3 seconds. This also scales with the hero level. This one is awesome for stopping fleeing enemies from running away or to slow down an enemy when you need to run. Last we have bloody retribution. Can you guess how much true damage it deals? It also absorbs and listen carefully HP equal to 12% of the caster's max HP, so yours, from a target for 3 seconds. This one doesn't scale with your level. It's always 12%. Awesome right? In the end it's up to you which effect you prefer the most. Next let's talk about the roaming effects. There are four of them. Conceal, 
Encourage, Favor and Dire Hit. These effects will be available once you get 600 gold from the roaming effect. Quick note on how it works. Once you have the lowest gold in your team, you will start to gain 8 gold and 20 XP every 5 seconds from the thriving effect. This effect also gives you plus 25 more gold and XP for exists. So if you are the roamer, go for assists and not for kills. Only the gold from the thriving effect is counted to activate the roam effect. For example, when you gain gold from minions, because you smash them while there's no ally nearby, this gold will not be added to the room gold you need. Another thing by the way, make sure only one hero in the team has a roam item. Otherwise if two have them, they both have almost the same amount of gold all the time and will not benefit from the roam effect. Now let's get into the blessing effects. The first one is conceal. This one was already existing before with the roaming item shadow mask. When you activate the skill, all nearby allies enter camouflage state and increases their movement speed by 30 to 75% for 5 seconds. This scales with the gold from thriving, so the roam effect. Which by the way, applies to all room blessing effects. So I'm not mentioning it for each again. If you deal or receive any damage, you will lose the state. While you're in camouflage state, you can't be targeted by basic attacks for example. But if an enemy aims his skill at you and hits you, you will still take the full damage. This one is awesome to engage into a gank, but needs of course a team that is following up. Next we have Encourage. And this is a passive one. Nearby allied heroes physical attack and magic power increases by 13 to 35 and their attack speed increases by 15%. This effect is good when being together with your beautiful allies. The next one is favor. Every time you cast a healing or shield skill, it restores 480 to 1200 HP from an allied hero with the lowest HP in the area. This effect has a 15 seconds cooldown. Healing or shield skills that only affect yourself does not trigger the effect. This one is for all heroes who have a healing or shield skill for their allies obviously. Last we have dire hit. When you damage a hero and his HP drops below 35%, you deal additional damage to that hero equal to 7 to 18% of the target's max, max HP. This, this is the worst. Target's max HP. Max HP. The damage is half physical and half magic by the way and has a 30 seconds cooldown. This one is nice for tanks who can also deal a significant amount of damage. Whew, this video became way longer than I anticipated. Lastly, we have today's secret keyword for the giveaway. It is... Dun 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 dun. Run. Again, all infos about the giveaway you will find in the description. Now, go check out the whole playlist or if you are a daily viewer, see you tomorrow. Have a great day.